Today, we're going to cover what we have found to be the best practices when post-processing ProJet 3500 parts printed in the VisiJet crystal material. When your finished parts come out of the printer, you can attempt to scrape them off with a putty knife, but this can be difficult. Dropping the build plate onto a hard surface can work well if your parts are not fragile. The easiest way to remove the parts is to place the build platform in a freezer for five to 10 minutes. The parts and build platform contract at different speeds, allowing the parts to pull free on their own. Don't leave them in the freezer too long as this can affect the accuracy of your parts. The parts are then placed in a finisher oven set anywhere from 65 to 75 Celsius. I like to keep it around 65 degrees since the parts start to soften and can warp more at higher temperatures. Do not leave the parts in the oven longer than it takes to melt the majority of the wax. Heating them for too long can affect accuracy and will also cause them to turn yellow. Once most of the wax has melted off, move the parts into an ultrasonic cleaner filled with Easy Rinse C and preheated to 60 Celsius. The ultrasonic cleaning action will raise the temperature about 5 Celsius, so we want to keep the set temp around 60. Set the ultrasonic action for 15 minutes and remove them as soon as the cycle is complete. You may need to test moving parts before and after the ultrasonic clean cycle to help keep them moving freely. Remove the parts from the ultrasonic cleaner and allow them to air cool to room temperature. We have found the slower the crystal parts cool, the more they retain a nice clear look. After the parts are cooled, you can clean off any remaining Easy Rinse C solution using warm soapy water. Follow these simple steps and you will be able to produce very impressive parts printed in the 3500 VisiJet crystal material. Contact ScanSource 3D to learn more about 3D printing and post-processing.